Hi, I'm Margaret Zimmerman, and in this tutorial, I'll show you how to load the autoclave with a variety of items. First off, this is our autoclave machine. This is a door handle, and here is your control panel to activate the autoclave. Here we have four different cycles. Cycles one through three are for liquid cycle uh, autoclaving. Cycle one is the smallest amount of liquid, and cycle four is the dry cycle for when you're not autoclaving a liquid. Now, if you turn to your right, you'll find that there's a sheet that tells you which settings to use for which variety of, of liquid you're using. 70 mils, 76 to 500 mils, and more than 500 mils are all cycles one through three. The cycle one being the lowest amount of liquid. So in order to run the autoclave, we're gonna use the autoclave part. Be careful to touch this metal, because you don't know if somebody autoclave before you in the last hour, and it could be hot. There's two parts to this part. There is the rack, and there is the actual part. Now on the part, there are two handles. There is the inner handle, which you pull back on, uh, releases the cart from the autoclave. This outside handle is release the cart from the rack. I'll show you how to use the outer handle, inner handle, soon enough. Now, in order to use the autoclave, we have to make sure that what we're using is autoclavable. These thick pieces of metal, uh, plastic, are able to withstand the high steam pressure of the autoclave. Autoclave temperature reach about 121 degrees Celsius typically, so you have to be very careful on the type of plastic you use. If you're using items that you want to put directly on the card that you don't have them, you can use special autoclave bin containers. Simply put them on the rack on the upper or lower deck and place your items into the autoclave. Here I have about 100 ml liquid in these containers, so therefore I would use cycle one. Make sure you have your autoclave tape and your autoclave plastic. Notice that there's no black stripes on here that indicate that this has not been autoclave before. Now I can move over to the autoclave door and open it. Here, if you notice, there are two latches right here. These attach to the autoclave inner door. Those two latches attach here and here to secure the cart to the autoclave opening. Now I will attach those latches to the autoclave opening. Oops. I can give a good pullback on it to make sure that the cart is secure to the door. Once the cart is secure to the door, I can push down on the inner latch and push the cart into the autoclave. Once the cart is in the autoclave, I can pull back on the inner latch and release the cart from the Now we securely fasten the door. And you want to pull back on this until you can't anymore. This is to create a nice tight seal. If the door is too loose, the steam from inside will create a bunch of water on the floor and end up damaging the floor. So you want to make sure it's nice and tight. Now, one of the items I have in there are 100 mils liquid, and I also have the pipette tips from the culture room. Now, the pipette tips from the culture room don't need a specialized bag due to the type of liquid they are, so we can put those just directly into the autoclave and dry them in. Since I'm using 100 mil liquids, I'll refer to my chart, 75 mils or less, and that's typically what I have in there, so I'm gonna choose cycle one. Now, going to my control panel, I will select cycle one cycle, and I'll push it again to start the autoclave. And now you can hear the autoclave. And it'll take about 45 minutes to 
cycle one, and you can come back and uh, there's another tutorial.